Here it is. South Street, Brooklyn, uh, Connecticut. Ooh, wait a minute. Hang on. I can't see it. Well, too bad. There's a, at the end of this, or not the end of it, but see that little hump there just at the, past the pole? Well, there's another hump that goes up and down. They changed that hump seven, eight years ago. Back when I was driving in the area, that hump was always the jumper. They cut it down. Everybody, everybody went down South Street just so they could fly. They come over this bump doing about 25. Yeah. They're, hi. Nice house. Very nice house. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, they used to come over that hump. And if they go fast enough, they'd cut, become airbound. And I was talking to a lady about that house that I've gone by here on South Street. It's beautiful. Outside is absolutely gorgeous. You know, the inside is nothing less. Uh, yeah, real manicured, really, really pretty home from the outside. And I just, the lady was outside getting her mail in her. I said, nice house. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, back in 60, 67, I, oh no, 66. Get this one. Back in 1966, I was in a band called the Trondells. And band practice was this way. Well, one of the guys from the band who lived up the street from me was going to pick me up. Because I didn't have my license. He picked me up. He let me drive. It's only from my house to right here. It was probably two, two and a half miles. Yeah. And I drove and I came over the hump coming this way. Yeah, this way. And a rope boom hit the in headlight of another guy coming the other way. We weren't airbound, but we were kind of. Uh, <laughs> in the middle of the road, I would say. And it just the left headlights were hit. And uh, I went off the side of the road. It was the guy's Mustang. He had a 65 or a 65 Mustang, white. And I bitched it <laughs> into a tree because I was through the middle of the road. And the other guy was too, so it was like a man, gimme, gimme. Uh, we walked away from it. Come to find out, get this now, I didn't have a license. The insurance took care of his insurance, his insurance because of his car would take care of it. The other guy that was driving was in my class. And a friend, seeing him around. As a matter of fact, we went on to become good friends after after we were married and started partying with a bunch of other people. And uh, it was a friend. And nothing was said about it. He wasn't a licensed person either, because he was my age. <laughs> so that's why I think it was let go. I never heard anything of it, and I was the guy driving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No practice that night. Yeah, I don't know why. I just stood there and looked stupid. What? Gary, you never lost that trait? You kidding me? I am the star of my own Beezer Guy channel, people. Take that in for a second. The Beezer Guy has a channel. Yeah, yeah I said the same thing. You kidding me? Yeah, I do. I, I do. I 
like it. Yeah, I can fucking say whatever the fuck I want, can't I? Or I should say, can I? Wow, oh, really? Oh, golf ball. And, uh, whoops. I thought I pushed the button. Uh, yeah. I think I'm kind of on the odd side. Just the way I think about life. Like I said, people's, uh, you know, people's, uh, hey, you guys, fans, all 16 of you, thanks, I appreciate it, and, uh, this is me, a little bit extra because I'm behind the camera, but, yeah, this is my philosophy, because I'm a philosophizer. Hey, I'm good at a lot of things, man. But I'll tell you right now, I found somebody that's smarter than me. I know. I found someone that's smarter than the bees were got. That guy on Jeopardy. Jesus Christmas. Let the other people answer some, ask some questions. <laughs> this guy is nuts. He knows everything. So, <laughs> really, this guy knows everything. There's one question he'll ask about the Egyptian Empire, and another one goes on to say something about what president of this country. Well, you know, not this country, but a country. Get that. And then he, he, he hits the daily doubles because he's all over the board. After he gets the 2,000 at the bottom of the board, he'll go in and look around for the, the daily doubles. First one he'll go, he'll double his money. He's got, oh, seven, eight thousand. 8,000. He'll double it. And he'll have 16 grand. Then he'll hit a daily double and he'll go to, go to that into about 32,000. Sometimes 40, 50,000 in the double jeopardy. Then he'll take the final Jeopardy question. That's it. He gets that one too. Uh, the other day he got 101 grand <laughs> in one show. <sighs> My goodness, people. And you know why? Because he knows everything too. Yeah, he's a gambler at heart. Well, I know. I think that's his business is gambling. Gambling. Yeah. Oh, basket. This guy is a strange character. Yeah, how many people you know? Oh, I'm a gambler. And uh, I just took Jeopardy for a million seven. <laughs> gambling pretty good. I think he's done for a while. He said he, when he wins and or he loses, he wants to uh, spend a month in. 14 different co countries. Wow. Well, yeah, get a place for a month and then just get up and leave. Make sure it's, uh, move in with your luggage and live there for a month. Got a kid, too. in my butt, but I can still ride a bike. Hey, I'm still on South Street. Can you tell? I still got the bumps and lumps and godumpas. What the fuck was that word? Uh, let me see. A lot of my videos are kind of, eh, I'll turn the camera on, say something. Uh, the other day, I think I deleted five or six videos of Dennis and I out in the, uh, Airline trail, I think it was. Yes, it towards Willamannock. Eh. Well, that girl's got stuff out again. I remember. That's the one I got to last year. Come on. Yeah, see what I'm Let's see how I'm going to like four. But here's a driveway for these back ones. Whoop. Oh. 
two front ones. And there's a one in the back. And two and three in the back. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I think this one is either redone or uh, new. Yes, it's new. That was all brush. And this greenhouse right here, you couldn't see the front of it. It was, uh, oh, six, eight foot high brush. Brush and thorns and pickers and stupid looking trees and stuff like that. So anyway, I turned the video on because it's the 2nd of May. The last two days, it's been just like this. Cold and cloudy. Now, you want to know how cold it is? It's 62. I got a sweatshirt on. I got long pants on, sweats on. And feel that. My hands are cold. I got a bandana on my head to kind of block some of the wind. And you want to know something? It's still cold. <laughs> wow, because it's been like this, I can't believe the temperature is up. Oh, nice looking place. Uh, because the temperature is up to 62, I can't believe that it feels like this. It should be a lot nicer than this. You know why? As soon as those freaking clouds break, we're going to get something. But you ain't going to happen until later in the afternoon. I think it's about 12.30. And it's just going to burn them off once they get, out, get a hold of the clouds, but... May, might be just moving through. Yeah, brought to you by the weatherman, get a Beezer guy. And uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, wait, there's somebody on the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I hate going to a bar and not talking with somebody. I, I'm not the one. Hey, I, I, I don't see that. Eh, I'm not going to start the conversation unless something comes up that I'll say, hey, hey yeah, I know, how you doing? Eh, blah, 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 blah. You get to be friends and stuff. Yeah, back and forth at the bar. And, uh, it's just... Don't remember. Here it goes. Uh, whatever. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Just today. today is Thursday. And I got a dentist appointment Tuesday, doctor's appointment Wednesday, two doctor's appointments on Wednesday, and another one I think a week later. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I never am. I'm very wishy-washy. Christ, people around me, I'll just... Huh. Uh, totally can't make up a bind. Tell me what you want right now. Well, um... I... Well, uh... Let me think about it. Uh, I don't know. What? Yes or no? Just like Judy says. I don't want to hear you spiel. I don't want you telling me anything except yes or no. <laughs> and then they go into a little bit more and she says, what did I just tell you? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's yucky. Somebody has some crap that's fell over. Nice. Alright, I guess I'm done.
Yeah, I figure I've been on here long enough, maybe about two miles anyway. Yeah, it took me long for two miles, Gary. I know, just hanging. All right, I got metal. You guys don't got nothing but me to say metal again. <laughs>